Great question here. What causes extraction sites to dehiss? There are only a couple of things that are that are responsible for that, and they are for the most part almost a hundred percent preventable or avoidable. So the the biggest the biggest thing is uh, self trauma. So you do a great job with your surgical extractions. You do a great closure without tension. The patient goes home and there's no Elizabethan collar placed. And the patient does this a couple times. Flaps disrupted. The suture lines disrupted. The flap might even tear uh, from the sutures. And there you go. It's dehissed. Um, the other, the other uh, possibility for that is something I already just mentioned, and that is there's tension on the flap. So if you're not trained properly to release the tension for the flaps in various places around the oral cavity, then you're going to be in trouble. Uh, you want to have proper training. And again, that's why we're here today. We gave you guys a bunch of training uh, earlier, but only 30 minutes of, or so of uh, really good tips and tricks, but there's there's a lot more to learn, and you definitely would benefit from being in a lab uh, that we teach so that we can teach you the proper technique on a, on a uh, personal level. So um, that, that great question, uh, if you're getting dehiscence and you're still, you're putting e-collars on and you're not sure about your technique, I would recommend that you proceed with those recommendations.